Everybody, it's PJ, and today I have an unboxing, a second harvest, second harvest unboxing. And what that is is it's Maybaum. Okay, so Maybaum is um, okay. So if your first harvest is when it's like circus and all that, and it's like when you're getting all your fruits and vegetables and bringing them in from the fields and whatnot your gardens um, may bomb is the second harvest which is actually when you're putting that stuff up your um, canning and that kind of thing so that's may bomb your second harvest anyway that's what our Sabbath box is today our second harvest may bomb yay okay let's get right into it so the first thing okay so first we have this Ooh, it's a broom. It's a little hand broom. Isn't that cute, though? Look how nice it's done. It's got a lovely little metal symbol here, and then it's all wicker, and it's hand done, and I love it. Okay, why we chose it. The witch's broom is also known as a bee psalm. Did you know that? Okay, has long been steeped in lore and symbolism. It's played an important role role. In, cra in witchcraft or within the craft throughout generations. Now, do you know that at one point um, in the islands and in Africa, that's how you actually got married was you jumped the broom. So these also can be used for um, love spells. So yeah, one day we'll do it. Don't worry. I know the next thing I'm going to do is get a bunch of people saying, do a love spell with the broom. I will. But right now we're going to finish this. Anyway, I love it. And I'm going to hang it in my kitchen. Because I love my kitchen to be a little witchy-fied. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of where all your herbs and whatnot are. So it just makes sense that, you know, you'd have it a little witchy-fied. But anyway, that's my first gift from Sabbath Box. I love it. Okay, next. Oh, it's a housewarming. Okay, it has a little spell on it. And it's a housewarming candle. It smells friggin' amazing. Everything autumnal smells so good. It all smells like, like a spice market or, you know, like that whole thing. It's really amazing. But this smells yummy. It's a housewarming herbal candle affirmation. Oh, it has an affirmation to it. Oh, I love affirmations. Ah, all right. Why we chose it. Um, this wonderful aroma that comes from this fragrant candle will have your home and sacred space filled with both the scent and feeling of fall. Part of the celebration and observance of Maybaum is about taking stock of all your abundance that we have in our lives. I'm going to love this. It's like my abundance candle. I love that thing. My sister gave it to me. It was just, it was heavenly because I could like literally kind of like meditate on the fact that everything I have and when you do that and when you're grateful it draws in all this other stuff from the universe yeah next we have a little pouchy Ooh, it's a little velvet pouch and I already know what's in it because like okay I'll be honest I opened <laughs> but I opened it just a little bit ago and I tried to do this video like a couple hours ago and it literally, I couldn't get the sound quality right so I redid it. But anyway, well, I didn't redo the whole thing. I couldn't get the sound quality right in the first like five minutes of it so I trashed it and now I came back to it. So. But, but I kept the part where I can't ever open the stupid box. Okay, so in this is a... This is, I forget what, okay, this is the one thing I opened, and it's a tiger's eye pyramid. Look at that thing. Tell me that's not, like, ridiculously beautiful. Okay, so, um, here come the girls. Do you hear the snorts? Sounds like old men are 
walking in my hallway. Okay, it says the tiger's eye has a brownish goldish stone belonging to the quartz family found in Africa and Asia is known of the stone of protection, grounding, and abundance. We're going to do an abundance spell. Let's draw some money in for the fall. Does that sound like fun to you? Sounds like fun to me. All right, let's see why they chose it. Uh, the second harvest may bomb and the autumnal equinox is also a time for our ancestors to start prepping for the coming winter. Hence what I was talking about. Okay, this makes the may bomb a great time to work on some protection magic, especially for the home, which is why we decided to include these gorgeous tiger eye crystals and pyramids in your boxes. Tiger Eye is said to be a stone of grounding protection as well as abundance. We're going to have some abundance fun. Next. Okay. Ah, we've got. Ooh, Dragon's Blood Incense. My, if you know me, if you've been with me a while, you know. That is like literally my favorite smell in the world. I love dragon's blood incense. It's like, it's just the best. Okay, so why did they choose it? Dragon's, oh, it just says dragon's blood is a potential resin from a tree that is used to increase the potency of rituals and spell work. So dragon's blood is like a booster, okay? So no matter what spell you use, like I use dragon's blood just every, like a lot of times in my home, but no matter what uh, spell you're doing, that dragon's blood will boost it, you know? It just gives it an extra oomph. So I can't have enough. It, they actually ran out of it once there and I was like, no! And uh, they, when they got it in, they just sent me a free package of it. I love this company. They don't sponsor me. They should, but they don't. And that's okay because they are so wonderful. Wonderful company. They'll answer every question. It's always a human. They talk to me like they've known me forever. So I love this company. Next, um, sponsor, not sponsor, not sponsor. <laughs> Next, um, this is called Abundance Oil, and it's called Part of the Root Abundance Oil. Can you see that? No, there you go. Can you see? Part of the Root. Okay, why did they choose it? Why did they choose it, Bob? They chose it because it's infu infused with magical blends of bergamot, orange, patchouli, cedar, clove, vetiver, and nutmeg. The ritual oil by the art of the root contains all of the necessary ingredients to get new energies flowing while harnessing the abundance of the infinite universe. Oh my God, that's what I want. Hold on, let's smell. Oh, that's different. Now that's really different. Get on my fingers. That's so light. It's really different, but what I liked is when they're really infused. Um, a lot of times you'll buy oils and it'll just be the oil and they will have captured everything in it. But with the, and then pure, like, like put it through a cheesecloth. When I make my own oils, I don't do that. I love to leave uh, what I put in it at the bottom. And that's what this one's like. See, watch. Watch, it's magical. See all the stuff? That's because they left it in there. I love that. That's my jam. <laughs> jam. Next, we have what looks to me like a thing of incense. It's called the bounty. It doesn't say incense. Let's look it up. Why did they put it in? Why we chose it. Filled with a divine aromatic blend of orange, star, anise, passion flower, cinnamon, apple, white pine, pomegranate cloves, and rose hips, the bounty herbal blend from the witchy mama was a lovely crafted to help you connect with the spirits of harvest. It is extremely versatile in its use, making it perfect, making it a perfect, perfect addition to your Maybon celebrations, rituals, and spell work. Oh, these are just herbs for spell work. I didn't realize that. Okay. I thought this was like raw incense that you put on the charcoal. All right. Um, it's extremely versatile. It adds to ritual baths, floor washes, um, dress ritual candles. Like you can put it in oil, dress candles with it, use it as altar offerings. Okay, so the biggest thing about this is you can use it in spells. 
you don't just this isn't incense i thought it was like raw incense that you put on the um on down on the charcoal but it's not it's actual herbs to use in spell works or baths or oils or any of the things we were just talking about so that's pretty cool okay so here we go we have two parchments this one says yep i already have this so this i have it's the home um it's just like uh it says may this home be blessed may good fortune follow those who pass through this door safe journeys for those who go forth and safe heart for those who enter May this floor lighten the steps of all who tread upon its surface and also provide a stable place to stand. Make these walls soak in the rich sounds of laughter and loving, hung with art and memories, protection from the fiercest winds. May this roof hold strong and these roots sink deep. This is home, a place of safety and joy, a place to rest and create, a place for me. May this home be blessed. I have this frame. They, I, they had already given me one of these a while back. And I have this framed in my living room. Because I love it. Don't you love that? Don't you wish that for your home? So this will be a gift. I will frame this for somebody and give it a, as a gift. Here's another parchment. And let's see what it says. Okay, so this is for the for the broom. It is how is it a spell? No, it's just about it's about the broom. It's traditions and what it does and what it means and where it went through in time, that kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably put this in a frame and put it in my kitchen because like I said, I like a witchy kitchen. And then of course I have my little coupons for everything. So that's the box. That is your second harvest or your May bomb box. Let's look at how much we saved on this box. Okay, so the total items of everything inside the box is $57.65. The total savings on the box is $11.70. And the total shipping savings is $9. So my grand total in savings is $20.70. And I just think that's awesome. Think about it. Like, if you went to buy this stuff, all of this, this whole, the, the, the stone. I mean, I've bought stones for 20 bucks. Like, it's just crazy how much you get, how much you get in these boxes and what you can do with it. It's always so diverse. You can do, like, all kinds of stuff with it you know you can do spell work you can do cleansing all kinds of stuff i love this company i love these boxes and my favorite box to get in the world so anyway i hope you get yourself a witchy box go get it at sabbath box by the way if you put in the coupon code blessed be all caps you can get i think it's I keep saying a different number because i can't remember it was so long ago it's either 10 percent or 20 percent off either your boxes that you get and you don't get them monthly you get them as, like at different ritual times of the year so it's not like every month or anything you want to buy there so if you want to just buy incense or this and that and you use the coupon code blessed be you get money off on that you're welcome and like i said i'm not sponsored i don't get anything out of this i just truly honestly think this is a wonderful company for us witchy girls and you know what else let me put this out here too when you do when you get these sabbath boxes it gives you kind of like a cut of every little kind of thing you can do with witchcraft or astrology or crystals or whatever it is and the truth of the matter is if you're a new witch if you're a young witch this is the way to get into it because i didn't have this when i was a kid some old lady and I didn't have any of this like we had to go to the library find books go to bookstores and try to figure it out ourselves this gives you like the tools to start your own little like like your altars and your like it gives you the beginning of everything so if you got these boxes just let's say for a year you would have enough stuff to do any kind of spell you would want any kind of like you would have divination all kinds of stuff so for me 
these things are fabulous. And I think for new witches or people just getting into witchcraft, um, I just don't see how this could be a bad thing. So anyway, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, thumbs down if you don't. Either way, I got you watching me. Manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think it, believe it, you can have it too. Like a really cool box from Savit Box. And that's, listen, I don't get excited about much. I get an Ipsy bag, this and that. But this, when I see this at my door, I'm like, oh, ooh, something cool is coming. <laughs> so I'm like a kid at Christmas. So get you a Sabbath box or at least go get some of the stuff at their shop. It's fabulous. It's sabbathbox.com. And I love you guys. I can't give you better advice. Bye.